What is going on Elite FPA Belfast community? We are fucking back in the game. It is good to be back. Oh, Jesus, man. Woman. Person. Uh, yeah, we had an, a, an amazingly uh, busy last few months, which has been pretty fucking chaotic. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, we had two part-time courses the rollout from January, uh, we had a full time course that started in July, um, all three were completely sold out. Um, honestly, you know, the content on the course, it just keeps getting better. Uh, but, you know, the level of people that we are producing um, also keeps getting better. Uh, everything about it has just been absolutely fucking unbelievable uh, over the past few months. Dak and Scullion, what about your brother? Give us a big thumbs up there. Um, yeah, it's just been amazing over the last few months and um, uh, super uh, thankful for it all. But it has been a busy one. So my live at 11s got put to the back burner. Um, yeah, there's just so much shit going on. But anyway, we are back today and I am discussing how to get from zero to 50k uh, and the journey uh, and what it takes to get to that point. Um, because... You know, it's not easy, right? It is not easy. You're very much in a startup phase. Um, and we know that in business, the startup phase is arguably the most difficult, right? There's a lot of scarcity going on in the startup phase. You're trying to make a lot of things happen. You're trying to figure a lot of things out. Darn months, what about your brother? Uh, yeah, you're trying to figure a lot of things out in the scarcity phase and it is difficult. And it's difficult sometimes to know what you should be focusing your time, energy, and money into uh, in the beginning to get you from zero, nothing, probably not even just not even involved in the fitness industry just yet. Maybe you're just watching some fucking videos by me or by fucking James Smith or whoever it is that you're watching right now. Um, and you're maybe just thinking about, you know what, I want to start in the fitness industry. Um, I want to get my I want to get my shit together. I want to change career, whatever it is that you're doing, or possibly you're already in the industry and you're trying to figure a few things out. And that is the purpose of this video today, which is, gonna, which is done on my phone, by the way, because Zoom tried to fuck me over, but I was ready for it. I was ready. So anyway, yeah, um, phase one, basically the first thing uh, that we're focusing on is performance. Um, and I actually had this conversation with uh, my, a couple of groups of students that started over the last couple of days. Um, we were chatting about just basically training, nutrition, looking after their sleep, their hydration, their recovery, their mindset. And I said to them, you know, here's the deal. If currently you're not training at least three days a week, that's where to start. And I know that sounds so simple uh, in our game, in the fitness industry, but it would fucking shock you the amount of people who think, do you know what, I'm gonna build a fitness business and they're not even looking after their own performance just yet. And the very conversation that I had with people was put your own oxygen mask on before trying to fucking fix anyone else's. Right? Because the reality is that you cannot start directing people on their health, on their mindset, on their training, on their nutrition. Like you can't do that without first looking after your own performance. And essentially, you know, in the startup phase, you're, you're, you're a one man, one woman band. And if you're not looking after your health, if you're not looking after your nutrition, if you're not taking care of you first, well then that's gonna impact your business. And people know, like people are not stupid. If you're not looking after yourself, if you're not walking the talk, people can see through that shit. All right, so the first thing is, I would say to people, the, the first thing on the checklist is absolutely look after your nutrition first, okay? Um, the next thing then I would say to people is you must find a mentor. And I know I keep beating this drum, but it is so fucking important, it is unbelievable. Like I cannot stress how much my business changed whenever I stopped trying to figure things out all by myself and I just went to uh, someone who, who knew the game. Um, I started with uh, Sean McGarry and Jason Keane. Uh, I had, uh, we, we actually had a meeting just the other day. Um, and you know, that, that business relationship has progressed 
from them, from those guys mentoring me, to me becoming uh, a provider for elite and uh, a, a, a sh not a shareholder, fucking hell. Uh, I own the branch of elite in Belfast, um, in, in Ulster in general. And now it's, it's gravitated towards a business partnership as a whole. Um, and we, we had a chat the other day, basically a board meeting about how the direction of the business was going. So that business ship, but, uh, that partnership has progressed. Um, and it wouldn't have even started had, had I not reached out for help. The same whenever I hired my second mentor, who was Craig Valentine. There was just, there was some things that were missing and I needed the, I needed different pieces of the puzzle. So again, I didn't hold up, I didn't wait around. I got my second mentor, I hired Craig. He taught me more about sales, he taught me more about marketing, he taught me more about leadership. Um, and again, that was just a different piece of the puzzle. Now that we're moving into a different phase of the business, I've hired another coach right now I'm working with, with uh, Nick James from Expert Empires. And he's already added massive value to my business and he's opened up new possibilities to me as well. And it's just like, it just, I can't explain in depth fully the, the insights that you get when you have a different perspective coming from someone who has been there and done it before, right? So the next thing on your checklist, right? First we got, look after your performance. That is absolutely key. The next thing then is have someone else look after your performance. Hire a fucking coach, hire a mentor. It is gonna serve you like so much more than anything else you can ever do, all right? Uh, the next thing then in our checklist is your profile. Um, so, you know, I always say to people, you have to, you have to be a generalist, right? You have to uh, specialize in generalizing, which is absolutely true and I stand by that. However, in the early days, in, in your fitness business in the early days, I would actually say that you should veer in the, towards the opposite direction. I feel like in the early days, you should focus more on specialization of one particular niche. Um, for example, whenever I first started uh, my career in the fitness industry, kettlebells was my thing. Um, it's, it's partly the reason why I get into the fitness, uh, the fitness industry in the first place. And I wanted to know everything about kettlebells. It was pretty much all I used in my practice. Everyone done goblet squats, everyone done swings, uh, clean and press, snatches. It was just my thing and I really fucking niched down on it. Studied everything that there, that there was around kettlebells. And then after a while, obviously I became an expert with kettlebells, right? Um, and then as my career progressed, I then started delving into you know, powerlifting and calisthenics and mobility and you know, whatever else it is, whatever else that I studied throughout the years. So then I became uh, a specialist at generalizing, which is what is definitely required in the fitness industry if you wanna be successful, right? You wanna be able to help people uh, with, uh, in a broad range of things, not just in, in one particular niche. But at the start, it makes complete sense that you niche down on one thing and you specialize in one thing, you become an expert in it with that expertise that then becomes credibility and authority in that particular area. And then you can start to progress on the other things from there. Uh, next up then, we're talking promotion, right? And here's the big one. Uh, because, you know, I get asked a lot of questions these days uh, around marketing and whatever else. And honestly, like, I was thinking about this the other day. The, the most successful people never don't do the basics. Right? They always fucking get the basics down. And the first thing that I look at whenever someone comes to me for advice around their business or on getting started or whatever position they're at, right? they're trying to get from zero to 50K, the very first thing that I'll look at is have you completely tapped into your current network of people? And most of the time the answer is no. I can pretty much guarantee that anyone, anyone watching this, anyone who's looking to build a career in the fitness industry, anyone who's looking to get from zero to 50K, if they tried hard enough, they could get to that point with just their network, as in friends, family, 
you know, distant relatives, cousins, fucking uh, people you went to school with, like whoever it is, your, your current Facebook uh, personal profile. Like most people don't even use their personal Facebook profile as a marketing tool. Like you can add up to 5,000 people on your personal Facebook profile. And here's what happens, right? Let's say you, you, you dial in on your, on your psychographic of person or your demographic of person that you wanna work with. Let's say it is uh, you know, dudes between the age of 20 to 30 who wanna build muscle. You go through your personal Facebook profile, you look at uh, guys who, who match that psychographic or demographic, and then you start adding people just like that. And here's what happens. Facebook then starts suggesting other friends just like that. So you can then go and add a bunch of people that fit within your demographic and psychographic of person. And you can do it for up to 5,000 times. And then you can start producing content on your personal Facebook profile that is gonna add value to the audience that you have selected. And that's gonna generate more leads. And that's just from your fucking current network. And most people, quite frankly, aren't willing to do that work. They're just not. Um, if it was me, like if I had no other option, um, and you know, uh, truth be told, I've completely capped out on my current network of people, probably fucking 10 times over, years ago by the way, right? Um, so we're at the stage where we have n like no choice, you know, we gotta run Facebook ads, we gotta do affiliate marketing, we, we gotta pull traffic from everywhere. But at the very start, you're the new kid on the block and people will want to work with you. Purely just out of curiosity. And that's a good thing. But you have to do the work in order to stoke that curiosity. It's up to you to be in front of people. It's up to you to be in front of your network. It's up to you to be fucking hustling in the early days. You know, contacting your friends, offering them a free session, offering a free group session, getting your family on board getting some testimonials, asking for referrals. Like you can do, you can get from zero to 50K just simply by doing that work alone, okay? Uh, so that's what I would say on promotions. In terms of products, one single product is all you need. One single product, and this is a massive problem, again, that I see people who are trying to get from zero to 50K in their fitness business, but they're doing too many things. I had this conversation with one of my coaching clients just the other day. It's like the man who chases two rabbits catches neither. And what happens in the early days, and listen, I've been as guilty as this year as fucking anyone. Uh, what happens in the early days is that you are, you have an entrepreneurial spirit, you, you're creative, and you wanna, you wanna launch all of these different products. You have so many ideas and you're trying to get them onto the marketplace. And that's great. Right? But a lot of the time, it's more of a distraction than it is a benefit. Because your message is unclear. As I said earlier on, the man who chases two rabbits catches neither. Focus on one fucking thing. If you want to get from zero to 50K, just one product. And every single conversation you have is planting a seed on that product to the network of people that you've got. Whatever it is. Your, um, if it's one-to-ones, if it's semi-private, if it's group coaching, if it's a boot camp, whatever it is, just focus on one fucking thing and go all in on that one thing. And I guarantee if you do that, you know, if your message is around that one thing, thing three, four, five, six times a day, everyone's gonna see that. And the more they see it, the more plants a seed. And when they're ready to buy, the first person that they will think of is you. Okay, so just focus on one thing, deliver one product and no more, and I guarantee it will get you from zero to 50K. Next up, we're talking sales, as in pitching. Um, and you know, in the, in the startup phase, uh, pitching is done on a one-to-one -one basis. You don't, need to, you don't need to do it one-to-many or you don't need to do it many-to-many. -many. You just need to learn how to sell face-to-face, -to -face, nose to nose toes-to-toes, or learn how to sell over the phone. Um, and of course, you know, there are some intricate details in the, both of those, as in like, 
What type of body language should I have when I'm doing sales face to face? What type of tonality should I have when I'm doing phone call sales? Um, how do we, what, what is the process from getting people to your DMs onto the phone? Uh, there's a lot of intricate details there, but in the, start, in the startup phase, in phase one, you need to learn how to sell one to one, face to face, right? And uh, I shared this uh, quote a couple of weeks ago uh, with my mastermind group, learn how to close and everything grows. So when you learn how to close sales, it just seems to fucking fix everything. So from zero to 50K, make sure you learn how to sell face to face or over the phone. And you're gonna get there a whole lot faster than what you would do if you didn't focus any energy on trying to acquire the skill of selling. Next up, we're talking personnel. You don't need anyone. From zero to 50K, you can get there all on your lonesome. Um, past that point, then you may have to start thinking about bringing someone on part-time or at least starting to offset some of the things that you're bad at. For example, if you are uh, shitty at doing any of the operations work within the business, maybe you're shitty at responding to DMs or, or emails or uh, tax returns or whatever it is that you, you're not good at, maybe the administrative side of the business. If you're not good at that, well then, after zero to 50K, you may wanna start thinking about bringing someone on to do the jobs that you're bad at. But from zero to 50K, literally you can do it all on your lonesome. Again, you have to manage your, your performance like we discussed earlier on. And if you do that, you can get to that point. Next up, uh, we're talking planning. And this is the last uh, thing that I'm gonna discuss here today. Um, so right now, uh, you know, we're very much uh, way beyond the first phase in business. So we are currently planning for 2022, as in the whole year. Um, we're discussing our, our, our dates for all of our mastermind meetups, um, for our group meetups, for all of our courses, for all of the programs going on at hybrid. Uh, like literally everything is being organized for 2022 right now. And we have to do that. But in the, the startup phase is in zero to 50K, you don't need to do that. But what you do need to do is plan it on a month to month basis. Okay, so you must sit down at the start of the month and you must look at, okay, well, what is my content strategy? What am I delivering on, on the gym floor? Uh, how many calls do I want to schedule this month? How many follow-ups do I want to do? What is the outcome that I would like to see in terms of revenue at the end of the month? How much profit do I want to see at the end of the month? You should be sitting down at the start or at the end of the month and looking at, okay, so what way is this month going to play out? How am I going to operate and get the most out of it, right? Then once you get past the, you know, the 50K stage, you can start looking at quarters and looking at the annual planning. But at the very start, you do not need to do that but you must have some, some sort of structure in there because ultimately structure will give you freedom. So what you need to look at is, okay, what is the plan for this month? Set it out, um, you know, start with the end of mine, work backwards to the very day. So you know, each month, get your, get your content uh, strategy out um, and write in, okay, here's what I'm gonna talk about, here's what I'm gonna deliver. Um, and then you're just gonna make life so much fucking easier on yourself if you uh, get that done, all right? So that's all, uh, that's all we're discussing for today. Uh, hopefully that was valuable to you. If it was, feel free to share or tag anyone in it that you feel will get benefit out of it. Um, and if you have any questions on any of the stuff that I covered today, as always, send me a message and I will get back to you soon. Adios.